All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. I got it's the Castans in the house there. Tony Khan will buy it there. Talking about the wrestling juggernauts. Bardish 2, you're the man, WJ. Sorry you guys have to deal with all the stupidity. Scott didn't deserve any of it, so I'm assuming a lot of these badasses are going to be coming on here, right? So, I'm here. You know what I mean? Y'all got shit to say. Say it. Negative zero. Johnny Fan, let me keep you cool there. I got a fan going on in the kitchen. Maybe y'all can hear it in the back there. JC Odin, that's the internet. But JC, I've seen you going around having a good laugh at this there. We close the page uh, supposedly because we can't handle it, stuff like this there. So I'd like to see what else you have to say about this. Big JC, that of you, hey, keep up the good work, WJ, yes, sir. Negative zero, so what's going on? Jobber J, Zubair Talk TV ended the wrestling juggernauts. That's, that's right there. That's right. It's the Costanza, Cedric in the zone always there. Lindy May, Logan Paul won bullshit. I'll believe it when I see it there. I ain't going to pay a dime for this shit, but I'm going to watch this probably tomorrow or whatever there. 006. No, we did not. I don't, there's no way that um, I'm going to look for this fight probably after this is done there. Sorry that happened. That was very nice of you and Jerry to give Scott a platform. You and Jerry are my favorite YWC YouTubers. Says Green Cat 9, fan of Asuka, why did the wrestling juggernauts close? I'm going to get into this, folks, there. I'm just waiting to see, uh, trying to get a feel for the room there. I want to see all these badasses there who want to voice their opinions or whatever. Mandy Golden Goddess fan. So what happened? My man, Scooter St. William, a.k.a. Scott Casey Gale. What's up, WJ? Well, I'm here to talk about uh, the shit that happened there, Scott, you know. You know, I'm sorry, Scott, you know, I fucking bring you in. I, I expect I expected some backlash, right? Trolls are going to troll. That's expected. You know what I mean? But to fucking have a backlash like this, like, and then they're attacking Jerry. It's, it's just fucking weird. You know what I mean? PV Sweetie Pie drama, baby. Hell yeah. Drama sales, dog. It is what it is there. Peter Spence, Floyd versus Logan, and did in the draw for real. There, I'm gonna fu I'm gonna watch it later. You know what I mean? And I might make a vid, maybe not. There, Peter Spence, why the world you see is super toxic. So basically, and I got 44 viewers there. If any of y'all. You know, you guys were tough on the juggernauts. You know what I mean? Sorry the trolls took down the channel, says DCX Viper. The man who closed the channel is me. You know what I mean? How many times in the past have I had backlash from mongoloids? Be it... A wrestling opinion, what have you. These people would do this to me every fucking week. All right? I would get the same level of reaction simply from saying that I liked Raw, for example. Hey, it's the troll from yesterday there. We like 
Holster, Holster, come here. Come here, fuck, he's here. Holster, F, come on in here, Holster. All right, so you bring the chat up. Then it stops moving. You click here. Hide user. Boom. There you go. That's how you fucking do it, folks. There you go. <laughs> here comes the trolls. <laughs> Thanks to this guy there for teaching me how to fucking block on here there. Um, so basically what happened there is the water can stop going down because it's causing background noise there. Large lad, AOWJ, how come you've closed so many channels over the years? Different fucking reasons, you know what I mean? Scott, I'm going to do my wrestling reviews on my old wrestling channel, the National Wrestling Shooters there. Beater Car, WJ, don't leave us. Like I said, it's the resurrection of the wrestling Jesus. You know what I mean? It's not a couple of veg lords that are going to stop the resurrection. You know what I mean? Um, once again, 53 people watching. You know what I mean? <clears throat> if somebody has something to say besides the Hulkster bullshit or whatever, and y'all want to justify or attack me for bringing in Scott, feel free to fucking voice your shit and we'll have a little dialogue, right? I'm assuming I'm going to be attacked there for a month or two because of this bullshit. You know what I mean? J7J, Zay Wrestling Jesus, always loved your videos and found you hilarious. Glad to have you back. Thank you there, and I'm back for good this time. So basically, all of this shit started maybe two weeks ago kind of deal. We started getting some weird drama in the Wrestling Juggernauts Facebook group. You know what I mean? So basically, like it was, again, this was another thing about Scott. Because Scott had a problem with Vince Russo back in the day. So you had some pro-Russo talk in the group. And then you had some anti-Russo talk. It blows up. It spills onto YouTube. People are talking about this shit on YouTube. I'm being attacked. Fucking all kind of retarded shit. You know what I mean? So basically, I told Jerry, I said, it's a group on Facebook, 200 members, it ain't worth it. You know what I mean? Especially now that I open a new WJ account. You know, I have a new WJ account. The fucking wrestling juggernauts, a fucking Facebook page, a group. I'm doing an e-fed show. It's too much. You know what I mean? I said it ain't worth it. It ain't worth doing a whole bunch of babysitting or whatever. You know what I mean? So we just fucking closed the bastard. I went 10 plus years as wrestling Jesus. Never needed the Facebook group. It's fucking useless because basically we opened this when I wasn't on YouTube. You understand? I was doing vids in there, you know, but now that I was back on YouTube, what's the point? What's the point of forcing myself to do extra material on a fucking Facebook group in front of maybe five viewers, right? When I can just do my shit on YouTube, really, what's the point? If it's causing us problems, get rid of the fuck, and that's what we did. The group still exists. Right now, it's Jerry and two invisible members in the group, so the history is all there. If need be, if I feel like bringing it back or to turn the group into something else, 
it's still there. You know what I mean? So basically, close the group. Now in that group, all right, I see it here, fuck. Johnny! Johnny, uh, 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 we're sorry. Uh, uh, won't you come on home? Booyah! Hit the bricks, bitch! Hit the fucking bricks! There you go. But yeah, if somebody has something intelligent to say, they're just, you know, about this whole thing. If somebody... I was seeing some so-called arguments there. People were going at Jerry with weird conser conservative but buzzwords. You, you know, if you guys want to come at me with this shit, feel free. You know what I mean? Ban him, fan for life. Ban <laughs> This is a, new, a whole new thing, folks. Blocking people. We can have some fun with this thing there. A whole new fucking thing we can have fun with there. So basically, when I closed the group, there was several people in there that were making videos. You know what I mean? People were making vids, such as Scott... And a couple others, Jordan and Reed, the goof, couple of people like this. You know what I mean? You need mods, WJ, yes. I could add Peter Gilmore as a moderator. He'll block everybody from here to Hong Kong, folks. But no, I don't want to fucking start blocking everybody there. But like cheap troll is cheap trolling you know what i mean we don't need a goof just fucking spamming all this junk you know what i mean talking about hulkster they don't care about hulkster it's just a cheap attempt at trolling me it's not that it hurts me it's the attempt you know what i mean it's it's just cheap trolling and he's taking up too much space in the chat if he wants to write one comment, that's okay. But to write a hundred, that's a bit much there. You know what I mean? Christ's sake, I'm holding my hand with my cup with two hands like Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck's sake there. So we had people in the group. Like I said, now some of these guys, they open their own group. Okay, okay, go. All right, folks. So basically, there, some of these people were in the group making videos. You have the goof, Jordan Henry, somebody else. There are a couple of guys making vids or whatever. All right. They open their own group. One of those members, one of those people, they're was Scott Casey Gale, okay? He was making reviews in the group. And Scott's a friend of mine. He's a good guy. People like him. You know what I mean? So when we close the group, then, <clears throat> you know, Scott's vids were pretty much gone. And, you know, he, he liked making vids for us. You know what I mean? So I told Jerry, you know, like Jerry's doing a vid a week or something. We did a live vid a week. I'm there. I'm making four or five vids a week type deal. You know, I figure bring in a couple more people, you know, bring in Scott. You know, Scott wants to make vids. Bring him in. It's not Jerry. So don't hate Jerry for fucking... Uh, you know, don't hate Jerry for having Scott in. If you want to hate somebody, hate me. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm the big bad wolf who brought in somebody. You know what I mean? Okay, what's this? 
Scott was making his own vids beforehand. I think it just caught people off guard when he was introduced so quickly. Was I supposed to establish that he was going to show up over a six-month period? You know what I mean? Imagine if I do a big thing there. Hey, there's a third man coming. It's a big reveal. I pump him up like he's fucking Tony Khan pumping up Christian Cage. And then it's Scott. Then the people would have freaked even more. How else am I supposed to introduce him? How else do you introduce a new member to a group? <laughs> you bring him in. You bring him in. I brought him in. This is Scott. This is what he does. And it's not like all his vids would have been positive. You know what I mean? I bring him in. WJ starting to act like Tony Khan. In what way have I done this? For fuck's sake. I just bring somebody in. You know, if I would have overhyped a big deal, eh? a big fucking stars coming on there. And then it's Scott. Then I could understand, hey, you made us think that it was the Hulkster coming back. If I would have said, hey, if, you know, you guys are going to be really fucking pleased and it's a guy that you don't really know, right? How else am I supposed to bring a guy in? Like, am I supposed to get on my head and spin around naked? Tell me which way I was supposed to bring him in. You know what I mean? NYK finest baller, you introduced him the right way. That's the only way. Bring a guy on the page. His name is Scott. He's going to be making vids. I told the people, right? Some of his vids might be positive. Some are, some are going to be rants. You know what I mean? Scott did a big video back in the day of, of Vince Russo rant. He got a ton of views. Vince Russo brought him on the page. Scott could have done some decent stuff for the channel. He might not be a big ranter like me. You know what I mean? Okay, I get that there. You know, people are more used to a WJ style of video. Okay, if, if you're on the WJ RAN account. But that doesn't mean that a guy who likes wrestling, who's a bit more positive, that doesn't mean he deserves to be treated like he's a loser. You know what I mean? There's no fucking reason to fucking treat him like that, like Jesus Christ, you know? So basically, it's, it's me. I wanted to bring him in. He was making vids for the group. The group closed. Jerry wasn't doing much. You know what I mean? I figure bring him on. Bring him on. It's not going to hurt is what I thought, right? That's what I thought, that it wouldn't cause such a big backlash. Some people don't like change. Oh, Jesus Christ, like. Even if people don't like change, it don't merit that type of response. You know what I mean? But people are going to fucking, uh, wait, what? Jerry admitted that he brought in Scott. Well, he did, but it was my idea, right? It was my idea. Arrow 2600, he's been going around talking a lot of shit. I'm confused, like he's catching me in the lie. I brought him in. I wanted him in, and I brought him in. You said Zubair was the, the reason you left the channel. Arrow, if your intelligence is that small that you can't take an obvious joke about Zubair, then I don't know what to tell you there. Okay, it's not like uh, I lied about Zubair and I'm lying about bringing in Scott. I mean, God's sake. I'm the one who wanted to bring him in. You know what I mean? Jerry was telling me at first it's possible he might get backlash. And I understand. I understand. Some people are going to fucking do this shit. Arrow, arrow, all right, I'll own it. Thanks, bro. I was wrong. Cool. Cool. I, I hold no grudge. All right. I understand there. People, they, they expect a wrestling Jesus type of fucking product. You know what I mean? But, like, it's a group account. If it's Wrestling Jesus, you know what I mean? 
if if it's the wrestling Jesus channel and I bring in some guy and he's coming on here telling you he likes D and D's, obviously that goes against what you expect. You know what I mean? Like it goes against what you expect, but the wrestling juggernauts was a group dynamic. You know what I mean? Yes, the channel is deleted. I'll get to that there. So basically there, we introduced Scott. Originally, when we were live with Scott, 100 viewers, folks, we've officially hit 101 there. We've officially hit the record for most viewers on here there. Calamania. Um, Calamania did. Uh, there he is. Cal left my ass off and drew fro. Such a non issue. That's why WJ is here responding to this stuff right now. Give your head a shake. You know, Dallas, he's a big friend of Scott. You know what I mean? So when Dallas sees Scott getting attacked for no reason, because Scott, he's a fucking nice guy. You know what I mean? He's a fucking nice guy. He's a fucking angel, man. He's super nice. You know what I mean? Straight up, man. He's super nice, you know? So when this shit happens, it's freaky. It's it's like, holy fuck. Like, Jason, the shield of Bally Castle, did a video about this, too. He's been friends with Scott for years. Right. So when this happens, people are like, whoa, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Scott is cool. Then him fan says Scott sounds cool. He's super cool. Super fucking friendly, man. Super friendly. You know what I mean? He's super friendly. This third account, folks. Move the chat. Go to the right. Hide user on this. Goodbye, Johnny. Oh, Johnny Antony. Don't forget to subscribe. There we go, feck. Bench! So, we go live with Scott. We introduce Scott. Live, it's a good reception i saw no negative comment when we introduce scott live you know what i mean by the time that day like i had explained here i went to sleep during the day i fell asleep about six hours then i did a three-hour live show Talking, I, I address this a little bit. You know what I mean? I address this a little bit on the three-hour show I did, the Scott stuff. I'm telling people, hey, if you don't like him, there's no reason to attack. Just don't click his bid. People who want to see will click. But here's the sad thing is that Scott could have done good shit. You know what I mean? Just because he's not a big, edgy guy, he can be funny. I liked his SmackDown review. I thought it was okay. I was laughing at the stuff he said about Seth Rollins. You know what I mean? I don't know why it has to be such a fucking big ordeal. But like I said, originally live, the comments were positive. At the time, that, that uh, you know, I, before I fell asleep, there was two comments negative there was an account called pro slavery <laughs> that was bashing him and there was i believe 88 an account called 88 i told scott i said listen just ignore this is gonna happen or whatever a couple comments there it's not a big deal 106 viewers there folks i told scott it's not a big deal just you know, but then the next day, I saw the comments and holy fuck, like fucking all the bunch of nasty comments. It's like, holy fuck, what the fuck? You know what I mean? 
I'm like, damn, you know. And then he does a review and he's getting a whole bunch of fucking dislikes. And I just felt bad for him. You know what I mean? I felt bad, you know. And like, you know. I'm seeing this go down. All the drama from the past two weeks there. I got a new Wrestling Jesus channel. I got to put a lot of work in this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing the way that shit is going downhill there. I told Jerry, I said, I said, you know, I'm done. You know what I mean? I said, keep it open. I'm going to fucking transfer all the power to you of the channel. Bring in a couple of guys. Because what will happen here? Well, I, I felt really bad for Scott, you know. And if I fu I'm fucking damned if I do, damned if I don't. If I go on the account, hey, be nice to Scott. Be nice to him. What's going to happen? It's going to be worse. It's going to be worse. And then it's going to be a fucking shit show and a half there. There's going to be videos on 50 accounts about how Scott is being attacked and it's my fault and blah, 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 blah. It's going to fucking erupt. Will's World Entertainment, he's going to put on a karate outfit. He's going to challenge me to a fight of some sort. You know what I mean? Bill has a point. What point there? Let me see. What's Bill's point? They are pushing him like a big brother charity case, just like Bears Town. The fuck? You see, this is some weird mentality. Scott's a friend of mine. He's a friend of mine. He was doing vids in the group, and I brought him in. You know, where did I come on here? Hey, I'm Scott's big brother. I'm pushing him because he's disabled. Look how good I am for bringing a disabled guy on the page. What the fuck? When did I say this? You know what I mean? Like, Bill Stewart, I'm sorry, but you're a piece of shit. It is what it is. You're a fucking piece of shit. You know what I mean? You want to try to pass things off. It's just fake, dude. You know, just make shit up. WJ wants to look good there. Bringing a handicap on really there. You know, Scott's a friend of mine. He's making bids in the group. We close the group. I bring him in so he can make bids on the page. It has nothing to do with trying to look good, motherfuckers. Since when do I do that there? When have I ever come on here trying to fucking look good? I come on here and I rant about wrestling. When have I ever tried to fucking come out looking like a good guy? I don't do that, fuck. Jesus Christ. NYK find this baller, bro. You didn't do anything wrong. You would think, you would think, you know, I just bring a dude on the page and Scott can be funny, man. Just because he has a disability, that don't mean there's no fucking, he can make good bids. He has made good bids. I've seen him. I've seen him. I knew Scott could have done some good shit. You know what I mean? It's, it's some, it sucks. Simon Gonzalez, have some respect for WJ. Well, that's some people they don't respect. You know what I mean? It is what it is. I have subs that like me for me. You know, I'm not going to put a percentage on that. I have subs that like me for me. Other subs, they just... They just want the negative wrestling talk. If I do a raw review and I say it's a good show there... The same kind of people are going to turn on me. It happens every week. It's going to happen on this page. It always happens. If I say I like Daniel Bryan, then a bunch of tough guys, hey, smart buster, don't like Daniel Bryan. Fuck you, WJ. I'm badass. It's, it's the same shit. I like Sasha Banks. Right, he said Sasha's ugly. She's ugly. And they think I'm going to start crying. It's it's sad. You know what I mean? 
cinematic middle tin. It's 2012 all over again. It's wrestling fans. It's it's everybody. Fuck it. It is what it is. That list, those who are mad that the juggernauts are closed. Let me go see that again. Should be getting mad at the losers like Bill Stewart for making these nonsensical accusations. Well, here's here's what happened. I'll get to that there. So I see all of this going down with Scott. I see the way Scott's being treated. I know it's going to turn to fucking shit fast, you know. I figure fucking cut my ties, not cut my ties to them, but just leave what's about to fucking become a, a fucking car wreck there. Leave. I have a new Wrestling Jesus channel. You know what I mean? In order to have a, a, a Wrestling Jesus channel, I have to put in a lot of work. You understand? That's another big reason. I was the Wrestling Jesus for 10 plus years. I took about two years off. I came back a couple of attempts. And I'm back on YouTube in the group channel, it's weird for me. You know, I also need the Wrestling Jesus channel. I need my fucking page. You understand? Like, I need my page. Okay, so when I see this kind of backlash, it's like, okay, if if this is the way it's going to be, if the page is going to turn to shit, plus I got a fucking whole lot of work ahead of me with my new account there, Frank Tank, motherfucker, that's a name I haven't seen in years, Frank Tank. <laughs> but but um, I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing where it's going. Like I said, I have a lot of fucking work to do ahead of me on this fucking page. You know what I mean? I fucking, it's best to just go. Social justice fails. This guy's been dreaming of an answer for me for months there. Did you really think people were going to give backlash to you bringing in a random nobody, but bringing in somebody that you view as random nobody? There's thousands of people that know Scott in the YWC. Just because you, their conservative edgelord there, just because who probably bought subscribers... <laughs> 100,000 subscribers. Did you buy those at the same place that Sean's view bought him or what? You would figure this freak would be making vids on his page instead with 100,000 subs instead of raging about me there. Hey, I'm a big cons conservative badass edge lord. Oh, wrestling Jesus talked about AEW. <laughs> Don't make vids about snowflakes. You know what I mean? When you're a fucking bitch boy crying in my fucking comments every video, get the fuck out, fag. Get the fuck out. Fag. But, um, so basically I leave the page. You know what I mean? And then I see poor Jerry. <laughs> poor Jerry, Tamal Mac. You know what I mean? Poor Jerry is trying to make sense of this, you know, because like Jerry's had to fucking, he's had to deal with backlash before because of Don Banks. But with Don, it's, you know, Don would do some goofy shit. You know what I mean? Don would do some goofy shit. So then Jerry would have to deal with it. But like he never had to deal with retarded backlash on this level. You know what I'm saying? Like, and um, so like, like, and Jerry on this page on the general Jerry channel, he usually like, he always goes negative. You know what I mean? He always goes negative because, you know, he never told me this there, but probably he knows that if he does go positive and he says Raw was good, if he says he likes a wrestler, if he says this and that, 
then he's going to get attacked. Me, I don't do that. If I like a show, I, like I'm not saying Jerry gives fake opinion, but he never like, he doesn't go against the grain on his account. He pretty much just gives them the negative material. Therefore, he never gets much backlash. You know what I mean? Right? So he's not used to this kind of wrestling Jesus backlash being attacked by a bunch of weirdo about weird shit. You know what I mean? So poor Jerry's probably freaking out about this stuff. You understand? Because he's, he's not used to dealing with shit like this. You know what I mean? But, um... So Jerry makes the bid, you know. He says that he's going to keep going with the channel. And then he says he made the mistake there of saying that he's going to, if Scott goes live, remove the comments, remove the fucking comment, the, the live chat, remove the dislike. You know, so then people, they turned on him. <clears throat> Basically, Jerry lost the crowd, not because he did anything wrong. He did nothing wrong, for fuck's sake, because he's seeing his good friend, Scott. Scott fucking loves Jerry. He looks, he loves Jerry, for fuck's sake. You know, so what Jerry's just like, ah, oh, fuck, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Right, I said I left the page, you understand? You know, so Jerry's probably fucking freaking out. He doesn't want to fucking tell Scott because what's he supposed to do? Is he supposed to boot Scott from the page? You know, is he supposed to boot him from the channel, right? And um, then it looks like Jerry gives in to the trolls. I told Jerry, I said, if you do that, there's a certain guy upstairs like Jerry didn't want to do that. But I said, what's your option? What's the option here? Getting rid of Scott. I said, if you do that, there's a man upstairs. I told Jerry, you're not religious, Jer, but I am. I said, there's a man upstairs <clears throat> who wouldn't be impressed if you did this. You know what I mean? So, so basically, like, like, that's what Jerry came up with. Just remove fucking comments, remove the dislikes, blah, 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 blah. Give Scott a chance. He's disabled. Again, nobody did this. Nobody said this. You know what I mean? This is sad. This is a retard conservative bullshit there like i was and because jerry did this he just doesn't know what to do he doesn't want to fucking get rid of scott at the same time he doesn't want to have scott there being attacked by a bunch of classless vultures you understand so like that's the best thing he could have came up with that's what he came up with you know what i mean so because he did this People are coming at him with conservative buzzword. You're gaslighting, you're virtue signaling, uh, all kind of things. I don't even know what this shit means, me. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm a wrestling fan there. You, you understand? I don't know these conservative buzzwords, what it means there. But they were going at Jerry or... You're into censorship. Basically, the people are pissed off. They want to fucking talk shit to Scott. They want to put him down. And because Jerry wants to protect his friend from being fucking attacked, <clears throat> apparently Jerry's bad. It's comments just because he's handicapped don't mean I can't voice my opinion. Basically, it's people who want to attack a handicapped guy. And they're pissed off. And I'm not saying that because I'm using his handicap to my advantage. It's the truth, for fuck's sake. You should have read those comments. Just because he's handicapped don't mean you can uh, blah, blah, blah. And then basically they were saying, let us trash him. 
fuck you, Jerry, for not letting us trash him. They're saying we want to voice our opinion about Scott. Like, like are people like that sociopathic là, that, you know, we brought a guy on the page because he, he has handicap or something or whatever. It gets turned against us. Like, you're trying to defend a handicap, Jerry, for shame. You're a gaslighter. You're a cuck. It's like, holy fuck. Like, Jerry's just trying to fucking protect Scott. Scott adores Jerry, for God's sake. You know what I mean? He doesn't want to fucking let him get attacked by these fucking trolls for the love of God. You know what I mean? Like, well, you are <clears throat> classless. Look at the shit you're saying. I don't want a disabled guy being used for brownie points. Nobody's doing that. You're the one saying this as a cheap attack. I bring in my friend Scott to a page. You're bringing up that he's disabled. Like, what's your argument? Like, what, what is that? You brought a handicapped guy. I'm going to hate on him because he's handicapped. And you're using him because he's handicapped. How am I using him? Because he's handicapped. This is mental. You're a, a retard, dude. I understand you're trolling yeah, and you think you're a badass. You're just a goof. It is what it is. It all comes down to the fact of how quick people were turning on WJ and Jerry, <clears throat> ignoring all the hard work they put into this page because they didn't get the content they wanted. That's a joke. It's fucked up. It's fucked up, no doubt. You know what I mean? But. And I was talking to Jerry after I saw even Jerry getting attacked. Scott's getting attacked. And now Jerry's getting attacked. Maybe this social justice guy was there with a whole bunch of accounts. Like I said, a hundred thousand fucking fake sub guaranteed he's got a few sock accounts. You know what I mean? Him being good is your opinion. Yeah. What's your opinion? Should I bow down to your opinion, uh, Bill Stewart? Who the fuck are you like? You know. Hey, I'm Bill Stewart. I have an opinion there, so fucking bow down to me. Who the fuck are you? Like, really? Like, geez. Like, if my subs are fake, why do I have vids with 200K? Well, you know, that kind of shit was popular for a while. You only have three fucking vids. I don't see three vids landing 100,000. For just fucking, uh, you know, typical fucking conservative stuff. I don't believe those are real, dude. I'm sorry there. If they were real, wouldn't you be on there making vids? I notice your third fucking vid doesn't have that many views. You know what I mean? So, but that's neither here nor there. So I told Jerry, you know. I was talking to him about what he should do there. And Jerry said he's going to do that. Just have Scott on there with no fucking, um, you know, no comments, no likes. And it's um, what else there? And then Jerry's like, fuck, after dealing with this, he's like, I want to take a break for a week or something. You know what I mean? He says he wants to take a break for a week, you know. So I told him, well, if you take a break for a week, it's just going to be Scott on there by himself. And he's going to be put through a fucking shredder. You know what I mean? And so I said, Jer, here's what we do. I'll go live on your page. You go live on my page. Just cut our fucking loss. And just scrap the fucking channel. You know what I mean? Like, if people are going to react like this to Scott and the way Jerry positioned himself, it's not his fault, you know? Jerry's a damn good guy. He's a good guy at art. He doesn't want to censor people. Fuck. It's just because his good friend Scott is being attacked. 
It is what it is. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Jerry's panicking. Dallas is panicking. Jason's panicking because they're seeing their good friend Scott getting fucking blasted, man. And if you guys knew Scott, you would see how sad that is because he's such a nice guy. Not because he's handicapped there. You know what I mean? Scott might be handicapped, but he's three times the man that this social justice retard will ever be. You know what I mean? Scott's a fucking A1 guy, a class guy, a great guy. It's not because he's handicapped. People are seeing this and it's just sad. People who know Scott personally, they see this shit and it's very sad. It is what it is. Bill Stewart, Bearstown 2.0 charity case. Again, that's not what it is. You know what I mean? It's uh, If you're such a sick fuck, Bill, you got to make shit up there to feel better. You want to be a cheap troll, do whatever the fuck you got to do. Don't let the haters win. Well, here's the thing. The channel was going down downhill. Okay. The subs, people were unsubbing. Fucking Dallas said there was like 300 people that unsubscribed or whatever. You know what I mean? So I'm seeing the way it's going down. Jerry's nervous. He doesn't know what to do. Scott's fucking getting attacked. Now they're turning on Jerry. I told him if people are going to treat you like that, I'm not going to go back. You know, Jerry wanted me to go back. If I go back, like what there? Like I'm going to go back fucking c crawling on my hands and knees. Okay, the trolls are treating us like shit. Let me get on my hands and knees for these people. We're going to kick Scott out or whatever. We're going to fucking please the trolls. We're going to please the sociopaths. We're going to please the people with a grand self-fucking-entitlement or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, a hundred viewers, that's right, just because of this guy, social justice fails a fucking big star, folks. Why did you say you blame Zubair? Was that a joke? For sure. For sure. Just a little joke there. Plus, I was saving the explanation for the live show right here, folks. The wrestling Jesus knows what he's doing there. You know what I mean? You think I don't know they're going to come on here and give me, what, 106 viewers? You think I don't know what I'm doing there? There, come on. So a fucking quick explanation over there. A full-on explanation here, there, and... Uh, it is what it is there, but so basically when this happened, Jerry's now being attacked. I told him it's going to benefit us more there just to have our own page, right? If I have the Wrestling Jesus channel and I plan on going hard on this page, I ain't closing it. It's not fucking cheap ass edge lords like this that are going to fucking you know, make me leave. Like I said, it's the resur the resurrection of the wrestling Jesus, and I'm going to be hitting this channel hard. You understand? Jerry wants to fucking rebuild this page. He wants to pump some life in it again. I told him, let's cut that fucking shit down. And just fucking work on our own page. Basically, I did it for my benefit, you know. It's for my benefit too. And because of, you know, if people are going to act like this, what's the point? What am, why should I have two pages? It's better to have just one. And Jerry, if he has just one, then he can put some effort on his page, rebuild his page, you understand? So that's why I closed it. You know, it's me who closed it. It's not because I'm scared of Edge Lord or badass or these people fucking come at me every bit. 
these tough edgy guys they're back they're after me this this social justice guy he, he's crying in all my AEW vids he's such a big tough guy you know what i mean but he's crying for my AEW reviews how 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 can you really though dude call people snowflake when you cry for my wrestling opinion you notice these big edgy guys they're so edgy and tough they got edgy fucking profile the wrestling jesus gives an opinion and they cry like little bitches you understand huh it's funny it's funny how things work you know what i mean it's in your nature to close your channel i did i closed the page but like i said this one ain't closing all right i told you all about a week ago there i'm feeling it boy i'm feeling it and if this page gets flagged down there's gonna be a fucking new one i'm gonna fucking go to jerry i'm gonna go to righty i'm gonna go to zubair i'm gonna go to dallas dark horse and they're gonna fucking promote the new page and it's gonna be right back to wherever it fucking is if it gets flagged. You understand me, bitch boys? There, the wrestling Jesus is back there. Full on, full on back. Not two fucking vids a week, not here for a vid and then gone for two weeks and then the channel close. Back, motherfuckers. No trolling, no bullshit straight wrestling talk if that's not edgy enough for some people it is what it is i like a show i like a show it is what it is if i come on here and i say i enjoy a show then that's how i feel unless you people want me to bullshit you is that what you want do you people like when i say that i enjoy the show and it's possible i might enjoy an aw show Possibly when I'm going to like the AEW show, maybe social justice guy is going to be my friend there after that. There, Maybe I'll, I'll, once I finally enjoy a show, the problem is that it's bad. Did you see the show on Friday? You don't tell me that I'm, uh, I'm wrong. Like, did y'all see this? The Brit Baker, all her hard work. She finally gets the belt, all the good promos she cuts all year. And that's the celebration they give. It's not that I want to hurt your little fed or whatever. Well, it's not that I want to hurt them or hurt you or hurt a W fan. Of course, when I talk. You know, sometimes I make jokes. I don't hate AEW fans. Some of them make me sick. When I read comments that Andrade is the next city, like, how the fuck can they compare Andrade to Eddie Guerrero, a fucking legit wrestling god? You know, how the fuck do you make that comparison? It makes no sense. The Atomic Pigeon crew, 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 baby, there. Schwartz Center, Big Max, there. Tor, you said that thousands of times, but you closed your account like an RKO out of nowhere. That's true. That's true. And I can't blame y'all. <clears throat> I can't blame y'all for thinking this. You know what I mean? I can't blame y'all for for thinking this because I fucking close a whole bunch of accounts, you know. Gayest picture on the internet. WJ still has nightmares about his dad leaving when he was nine. You know, this guy must know, like, fucking, you know. My father never left at nine there, but you see things, it's like this on YouTube. People say all kind of shit, people attack, people do this and that. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it, it's the way it is. It's not my first day on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? It's not my first day. People, for the past month or two people, they're talking about my dead cat there. And there. every comment, every stream... Where's your cat? Did you kill him? You know, 
people are saying all kind of fucked up stuff about my cat. It's it's the law of the land. It is what it is. You know what I mean there. But the fact is, folks, I closed the, the wrestling juggernauts. And at this stage, the way it was going, like I said, I see poor Jerry the way it was going for him there. I, I sacra, man. The best thing is was to close the page. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Like Jerry's gonna do this. He's gonna get backlash. It's gonna be where's WJ? Fuck you, Jerry. Like I told him, close. Well, I closed it. You know, I said we're just gonna do vids on each other's page, stuff like this. It's gonna be better for you, Jerry. And it's going to be better for me. You know what I mean? What happened on the page, I just closed it there. I just went through all of this. It took me an hour to fucking uh, spike shooter. The atomic pigeons opinions are always memorable there. WJ, if you kept your account open from 2011, do you know how many subs you'd have? Fuck, who knows, bro? (laughs) Who knows, but... You know, I can only do what I what I can do now. And now, honestly, you know, I did lots of trolling, right? So it's an uphill battle. Right now, I'm as a relic wall, not as much because I've been on juggernauts for, I was doing that for about four or five months. But I was gone for almost two years. You know what I mean? But the last time I did almost a year complete, not being on YouTube. I was doing vids on Facebook for three people and I was happy, but uh, it ain't the same. You know what I mean? This, this I like there talking with the chat. This gives me a rush inside there, folks. It gives me a rush there. Seven days, folks, without marijuana. You know what I mean? Seven days there. Without pot there. And this is giving me a natural high right now there. This shit. You know what I mean? Bring back WWR. (laughs) World Wrestling Retarded. Maybe. uh, Maybe. Fuck. Like I have. um, I don't know. But if I was to bring back some. A couple of people are asking me for Ethan. It could either be. Like, like I said, like a storytelling goofy fed or possibly uh, world wrestling retarded there. But that would have to be low quality filming the game with my TV with filming the TV with a camera. I'm not going to fucking go buy a PS5 and connect online and. Yeah, Jerry, how do I make this go? Uh, a bunch of editing. If I was to do something like this, I would just fucking film the camera there. But basically, folks, there, have you ever tried is that mushroom, magic mushroom, or Super Mario mushroom? I don't know. There. I did mushroom when I was a kid there. But uh, not not that often. I did LSD as well there. Y'all should have fucking seen me on LSD. I was like a fucking wizard when I would talk. I, um, the Atomic Pigeon crew, crew, crew. Fuck. Gayest picture. WJ wore still bread as shoes till age 17. I still got those breaded shoes for fuck's sake. They're killer of demons. Meatball Championship Wrestling. Like Jerry told me he wanted to bring back the Smack Fed channel there. Like Meatball, that was a group on the... Like I could maybe do some type of E-Fed show, but it would have to be like a YouTube version there. Like maybe have like, uh, let's say... A couple people, me, Jerry, Peter, but like if Peter, if you want me to do this and you want to be a part of it, 
you got to fucking appear on the live show at least there and do a promo for it there. But like maybe myself, Robbie, Jerry, and I figure out a way to make it more appealing. You understand? Um, but leaving the e feds out of it there, but um, in terms of my wrestling Jesus show, uh, that takes a lot of editing, you know what I mean? Bring back the wrestling lovers tab on that <laughs> with big Andy. What Andy wanted to do, we wanted to fucking. He wanted to monetize. See, that was another group channel, you know. And what Andy wanted to do, there was five, six people in that group. What Big Andy wanted to do was monetize. Tell the people in the group that the money was going to charity. And then he wanted to split the cash between me and him. That's a fact, folks. That's that's why Andy's truth. This man was nothing but truthful. He, he was a scumbag piece of shit. And when he told me this, there, that, and that, I fucking got out. I got out. And he made a video talking about Hulkster. It's Hulkster's fault. Hulkster's the reason WJ left the group. Now, WJ left because Andy is a piece of fucking shit. You understand? He's a big, fat piece of fucking shit. And if he's somehow watching this, there. Come on. Come see me. Come see me, bitch. All right. I know this guy sent me a message on Facebook at one point. If he is seeing this, you got a problem. You're a big scumbag, scammer, loser, piece of shit with no class. You got a problem. You come see me with your, your red belt jujitsu. I'll fucking choke you with it. You big fat piece of fucking shit. Come at me. Come at me. All right. Um, but um, yeah, that's uh, with no weed, folks. It's harder to stay mellow, folks. The wrestling Jesus with no weed. He's on another fucking level there. But if this big fat scummy shady piece of shit were to see this and he has a problem he can come see me man to man and we can discuss it or whatever there huh big fat freak come at me but uh yeah that's about it there folks the wrestling jesus is fucking back rants reviews wrestling news ladies and gentlemen there I'm going to fucking go to work tomorrow. I'm going to be fucking reading some of that wrestling news there. And I'm going to be giving y'all Monday night news, ladies and gentlemen, a live show there every Monday night where we discuss the news there, talk about articles, get y'all's input and stuff like this. So stay tuned, folks, for... Um, Monday night news starting tomorrow there. Jalen Mark, grow your hair back out. I can't too bald for fuck's sake. Super set Trollins there. Word. The goof. I'm still the goof. Yes, you are. Fuck. Yes, you are. Possibly when I uh, set up the stream yard, maybe the goof could make an appearance or something there. Um, but yes, tomorrow night, folks, stay tuned for the first official Monday night news here on the page. I did one on juggernauts, but that was more of a test. You know what I mean? The first live edition of Monday night news coming tomorrow night there. And I promise, folks, the wrestling Jesus is not going anywhere. I'm here to stay. I feel a rush these days. I'm feeling it. Back when I started, I had more passion, you understand? And I'm feeling that passion again. You know what I mean? 
I'm loving going live. It gives me a rush. You know what I mean? Going live there. So Eddie 001 WJ lives forever. Peter Gilmore, WJ and me will always be legends there. Well, Peter, if you want to do the fucking e fed thing, we can maybe we can try. Maybe we can try it and, and just see how it comes out for you, dude. You know what I mean? But Schwartz Center, WJ, better than ever, folks. I believe, you know, I might not be a fucking trolling or shit like this there. You know, but I believe I possibly might be better than I ever was. I think I like an evolution of wrestling Jesus is coming. You know what I mean? That's what I feel is taking place there. Scooter, St. William, much respect for you, WJ. Much respect for you too, Scott. It sucks the way things went down there, but <clears throat> sometimes that's how life is. Life throws us in different directions there. The good Lord sends us in different directions, Scott, there. But you and I, you know, we're good friends and we're going to do some some stuff together, whether that's NWS or going on live shows together. Like Dallas said, it's not the end. You know what I mean? Um, so thank you, folks. Thanks for those who are subbing to the new account there. Thanks to those that have been watching me for a long time there. Thank you to the Atomic Pigeon there. Crew, 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 question mark there. Saying what needs to be said, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, folks, thank you. And it's just the beginning, baby. The Wrestling Jesus ain't going anywhere. End stream, boys. And this time, I'm going to be better than ever. Well, that's my opinion, folks. It's all subjective there, but I'm back. I'm back.